Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at setting up the software inputs and outputs. It's the virtual inputs and outputs. This is a little bit more complicated than the hardware ones I did last time in my second video. I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. It can be a little bit difficult to get your head around. So let's see how we get on. So first off, we just need to look at this sound control panel and I can explain to you where these virtual inputs and outputs are. Just minimize that. Okay, so in voice meter, these are your virtual inputs and these are your virtual outputs. Three of each. Now, in the sound control panel appear these, these inputs. Now, under playback, you have the inputs. And under recording, you have the outputs. Now, if you're thinking why the playback devices have the inputs and the recording have the outputs, then I was a little confused at first, but once you get your head around it, it does make, it does make a lot of sense. So you're playing back something on your computer, which is sent to the input here, almost as if this was a separate box on your desk and a cable came out of your computer through its playback device and into voice meter. So your playback device is your input here and you've got three of them um somewhat annoyingly the auxiliary one which is the middle one here is on the top there because they're alphabetical uh it's just something to just something that might catch you out especially sometimes you can't always see the end of the end of the sentence you might just in some in some applications it does get cut off and it's difficult to know which one's which and it's the same on the recording ones uh, which appear as the outputs. Again, imagine a cable came from here and was plugged into your computer. You would be recording the output from that box on your desk. Uh, just a quick note, these aren't joined up. If you're familiar with the voice meter plug, it is plug, which is a separate piece of software. Those are joined up. So in the, the case of that, anything you play back goes to the input of the plug and the output of the plug is here and it's so you're creating a loop uh here you're not doing that these are separate they can be routed to one another here uh, and i'm going to do a separate video on routing and i don't want to get uh, bogged down in that here because i'm just trying to show you the setup but essentially you can send any of if you send any of these virtual inputs to the virtual outputs you create a loop basically and that and that can be that can be quite useful so to set these up quite simply to see the outputs it, the all you have to do is when you're using skype or using discord or you're setting up to record like a microphone in obs instead of picking the device that you want you pick the output here so i've rooted my microphone let's move this out of the way a second so i've rooted my microphone these two microphones are both going to b2 which is my stereo mic which is the auxiliary output so instead of picking my mic in obs or discord what i'm doing is i'm picking this picking this channel so anything i send to that channel here will be recorded as a microphone input in Discord and OBS and Skype or any other any other program. And you do that within the application for those types of device. On the other hand, you can also pick your input. So your default input, like some, some games, for example, don't let you change the mic in the game. They only let you, it only uses the default microphone. So you might set, you could set your default microphone in the windows control panel to use in this case voice meter auxiliary 2 would listen to that microphone i'm not going to change it because i'm it's currently recording so you set that as your default so what I, what my advice is you pick one of these decide which one's going to be your microphone then you change that to your default microphone in windows so that's really the output you know the other the other thing which I'll cover in my routing is that you can route 
non-input devices. You can route output devices to an input. As I said, you create a loop then. And that's where the playback devices come in. So again, in the sound control, now this is currently, I'm currently sending this straight out to my audio interface, but I could choose voice meter input. And if I did, it would come in here. And then I can send it to either an actual output, which is I want to do. I want to send it to some set of speakers or a headset, which will be one of the physical channels, one of the A1 to 5. And I could also send it to a virtual channel, but in which case I'm sending a virtual, I'm sending an output to an input. And that's useful as then OBS can, for example, can record my system output. So my game, say my game music is playing through this one. I can send it to B1, which I've renamed a system. And Discord can record that. Discord, instead of recording an output, which when you change the volume of your headset, will change the input volume it gets, it's ignoring that. And instead, it's getting the full volume and you can control that here and then you pick that up but it will appear as an input not an output that's the key so you'd have to add like another you as if you were adding a microphone but actually you'd be picking up the output so usually you'd add speakers or a headset or something instead you add a microphone and you pick in this case voice meter output one let's just go back through that a little bit you set as your default audio output here you would set that to voice meter input that would appear in here that would come in there you then send it to b1 which goes over here which then sends it to this output which you then add as the microphone in obs now don't worry if you've got a bit lost because it is a bit confusing but once you understand you'll probably find that it makes a lot of sense now, so all I've showed you so far is changing the default default device there. Down here, you'll see you've got this app volume device preferences. Let's say that's our system. So most stuff comes out of there, including the games. Out of here, we want our uh, we want our communication thing, so Skype or Discord or whatever. And here, we we want our music. So I can control all three of those separately. Now, where's our music app? Well, it's not there because it's not running. I know nobody uses um, media player, but let's just use media player as a good example. So let's, let's get media player open, right? Media player now appears. Where's the output? Well, I want the output to go to voice meter auxiliary three. So I'll, I'd select that again. I'm not going to do it because it's going to, it'll just mess up my settings as I'm using them. That would then come in here and then I can send it over there. Now I could also do that with, with discord, but with most of these, most communications software, you can control it within the thing itself. So in my case, you can just set your output device from discord, you know, your, your listening device to voice meter auxiliary and then it will come in there and then you'd send that to your headset or your speakers so you can hear now well we've got three different inputs but i'm using one of my virtual outputs for my microphone so how do i get my discord well remember what i said about obs can listen to both inputs and outputs in the case of discord you can set discord to listen to the playback device it's less of a problem I and mean, it doesn't you could do the music one instead personally i use the discord one because the discord you can change the volume of the users and you can listen to the input if you do that the fader won't work this slider controls what i hear and what volume i hear it at while it's pulled in directly into obs and obs can control what the stream hears so that's quite, so that is actually quite a good way of doing it. Now I mentioned some, the plugs earlier, you know, that you could use the plugs to actually create another one, turn one of these into one of these, or to turn one of these into one of these, in which case that might deal with your discord problem 
a different way, but there isn't really any there isn't any need in this circumstance. Uh, the, the message there really that I took the long way around to get to is that Discord can listen to either the inputs or the outputs. But if you listen to the inputs, they will be pre-fade. So anything you do in VoiceMeter, if you listen to the input, whatever you've done in VoiceMeter will be ignored. If you listen to the output, anything you do in VoiceMeter will be sent over here, which you can then pipe through and listen to by listening on one of these. So now that you're probably totally brain mushed by that um it's probably best to I call it a day you could probably have have a look over it get your head around it maybe listen to the early parts of the video again try and get the get your head around that if you follow great if you don't leave a comment I can try and help so I'm planning to do another video on routing i've covered a bit of it here but i'll go into a bit more detail on on that in that video i'll also be doing a video showing how to set voice meter up with obs i'll probably be doing another series on obs generally but i'll do a, a segment in this series on specifically connecting voice meter to obs i'm also planning to do another one on connecting it to audition and you can use a similar process for other digital audio workstations Okay, if you want to catch up with me, please check out my Mixer or Twitch channel or follow me on Twitter and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.